Okay, what we want to do is look at a couple of elevator problems. Uh, we've got two situations, one where the elevator is moving at 6 meters per second, which means uniform motion, and the other one where the elevator is accelerating down at 6 meters per second squared. So let's start with this one. We're looking at an elevator that's moving at constant speed, 6 meters per second. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a free body diagram, then we're going to analyze the diagram and try and figure out what is the uh, tension in the cable. So here's my free body diagram. First thing you say, is there gravity? Yep, there's gravity. Uh, is it sitting on a surface? No, it's not sitting on a surface. It's moving up and down an elevator shaft. Uh, is there an applied force? Yes, there is a rope or a cable attached to the uh, elevator, and it's pulling up on the cable. So here's our applied force. And the last question is, is there friction? Well, there's no friction in this problem. So here's my uh, free body diagram. Then I look at this, the elevator is moving at uniform motion. Uniform motion or constant speed tells me that everything's going to add up to zero, so I have to remember that. So here's what we have here. So I'm going to say up is positive because I can choose any direction as positive because it's not accelerating. So my equation for this would be Fa minus Fg equals Ma. So let's try and find Fg. Well, in this case, Fg is going to be mg, and I'm going to use, for the sake of simplicity, uh, 10 for g instead of 9.8. So my force of gravity, the mass is 200, and gravity is 10, so Fg is 2,000 newton. So I plug that in, Fa minus 2,000 equals, my mass is 200, and then I take a look at the acceleration. And I know what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to put a number in because you were given it. But that's not the case. This elevator is moving at 6 meters per second. So it's moving with constant speed. There is no acceleration. So this is going to be 0. So I'm going to end up with Fa minus 2,000 equals 0. Like I said before, when it's moving with uniform motion, everything's going to add up to 0. So Fa must be equal to 2,000 newtons. So let's see how it's going to be different now that the elevator is accelerating. Well, my approach to all my problems is the same. I draw a free body diagram, I add up all the forces in the direction I'm interested in, and I solve for what I'm looking for. So I go over here, I draw my free body diagram. Is there gravity? Yes, there's gravity. Is it sitting on a surface? No, it's not sitting on a surface. Uh, is there an applied force? Yes, there's an applied force, which is the tension in the cable. And when an elevator is moving, the tension of the cable would be up because you can't push on a rope, you can only pull on a rope. So there's my FA. And then the last question is, is there friction? Well, there's no friction in this situation. Uh, fifth question is, is it accelerating? Yes, it's accelerating and it's accelerating down. So I got to call acceleration down positive. And then I look at my diagram. And in this case, these two look the same because they ended up being the same. Since it's accelerating down, the down force should be bigger than the up force. And so what I want to do is correct this a little bit by making that a little smaller. Now it looks like I have more force down than up. So I'm going to write my equation for this. In my equation, Fg is going to be positive because it's down. And Fa is going to be negative because it's up. And that is equal to Ma. So I'm going to plug the numbers in. My gravity is still the same, it's mg, and the mass of the elevator is still 200 in this question, so uh, fg is 2,000 minus fa equals m, and in this situation now it is accelerating down. So I am going to use this number, and it's going to be positive, because down is positive, it's accelerating down, that's going to be times 6. So we end up with 2,000 minus fa equals 1,200. So I rearrange this, and I'm going to skip a couple of steps, but Fa equals 2,000 minus 1,200. Fa is 800 newtons. And I should just check, does that make sense? Well, the downward force was 2,000. The upward force is 800, so I have more force down than up. This thing is going to accelerate down, which it's doing at 6 meters per second. Thank you.